Hey, gorgeous. Okay, so this morning, hey, it's Abiola, by the way. <laughs> this morning, this is something that's a little bit different. Um, a goddess friend of mine from Instagram is going to be interviewing me. Oh, here she is. Um, I'm going to wait for her request. But she's going to be interviewing me here on my platform. So it's going to be kind of interesting. Okay, here we go. Yay! Hi there, Greg. How are you? Sending you blessings and prayers. Yay! There is Goddess Kim. Hi, Hi. How are you? I love your dress. Thank I love you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for waking up early, for fixing up and all that. <laughs> I know you're not quite a morning person, but you hear <laughs> you made it. So thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm excited because you and I have been connected for such a long time. No. And we're, we're walking similar pathways in different countries. And this is the first time that we're having voice to voice contact, right? Yes. Yeah. Like you like my stuff. I like your stuff. <laughs> comment on each other's posts and <laughs> I've seen you like grow really I think I I met you online um when you were just starting yeah. and and then now like um you're really influencing more and more people into manifesting right yes yes uh, yes yes yeah Thank so I'm you. so happy to have this conversation with you Oh, I'm so excited. And I want to just say to you as well, like with your, your protons, I've seen you grow as well. We both have a background as NLP coaches. And look at all of the wonderful people who are gathering. I first have to acknowledge, you know, oh. <laughs> all of the wonderful people who are gathering. But yes, yeah, so this is a, a an incredible uh, love fest. And especially at this time, where it is so very much needed. So I am in, we're on my channel, but I'm in your sacred hands. Yes. And so you take it away. <laughs> okay, so maybe let's just take three deep breaths in and out just to settle in. So take a deep breath in and then slow exhale. That's right, one more time, breathe in. Slow exhale. And one more time, breathe in. And slow exhale. And the first thought that came to my mind was really gratitude. I'm grateful for being here with you right now. And I want to ask you, what are three things that you're grateful for today? So three things that I'm grateful for. So first of all, I'm grateful for this sacred conversation because right now this is a time of, you know, so much angst for so many people and so much transition and fear. And so I'm grateful for a conversation that's raising the vibration. The second thing that I'm grateful for is I'm grateful for my soulmate tribe, uh, you know, combining with your soulmate tribe. And, you know, from I'm in New York City in the United States, you're in the Philippines. And so us being global goddesses, taking our sisterhood global, this is what, you know, my work is all about. And the third thing is, that I thought about when I was coming to have this conversation with you today, I was like, okay, you know, I prayed on it. I went to my altar. I said, well, what do we want to manifest in this conversation? Um, because a big part of my work is with spiritual women, entrepreneurs, spiritual women leaders like you and I, helping them to step into their power and visibility to build their mm -hmm. businesses. And I said, we're wanting to manifest peace you know what is the opposite of fear peace well-being feeling good in your body feeling good in your soul you know feeling comfortable feeling safe you know um knowing that all is well abundance all of those good things love health wellness and so i'm great those are the three things that i'm grateful for at this moment yes wonderful um i love it and yes i love that we are connecting and it's beautiful uh, that we are connecting even with everything that's happening, 
right? Um, and I know you are like a woman, woman, what, what's that term? <laughs> woman manifesting? Is woman that what you're going for? <laughs> so just think like, like manifesting, but, but woman manifesting. So manifesting, woman manifesting. <laughs> So is it um, strictly like for women? Is that a... Well, for... well, when I started out, I started out working mostly with women because that was where I saw the most need. And those were the people who were coming to me. I started with goddess circles in my living room and um, doing a goddess theater piece with a friend of mine um, in New York City that then went around the country and then would turn into these discussion groups. And so it was women who were attracted to the term goddess. But now I'm seeing, you know, not only women, but also enlightened men. And so I say that this is what we're putting out there, you know, and the people who are called forward are called forward. So when I look at, you know, of course, like my analytics for any of my channels or whatever, it's always like 80% women. But it's, you know, it, this is sacred medicine that we're offering to the world, you and I. And yeah. so, you know, whoever, whoever comes forward and says, this is for me, come forward. This is for you. I love that sacred medicine. Yes. And people know that term or know what it's about. Can you kind of like tell us about sacred medicine? Sure. So, well, they, they probably don't know because it just came to me just now. <laughs> so I'm in the process of writing my next book. And so I'm, I'm deep in all of this at the moment. And so sacred medicine is how you, you know, who are watching this at home, however, you're choosing to show up bigger and brighter and shinier in the world. So for some of us, you know, for you and I, that may mean, you know, us showing up to be able to serve a tribe of people and build a business around it and, you know, all of those things. For other people, it may mean, you know, serving their family. And that's equally, you know, as important and, and, and more so in many ways. And mm -hmm. so sacred medicine is just whatever it is that you put out into this world that makes it a better place. So that includes, you know, people who are, you know, of course, you know, healers, teachers, coaches, uh, yeah. you know, light workers, but it also includes, you know, people who are serving our food, people who are making our food, people who are farmers. This is, that's their sacred medicine. So the gift that you give to this world is your sacred medicine. Okay, so it's like really focusing on your gifts and talents and being able to share it with other people, then it becomes sacred and it becomes medicine for other people. Is that exactly. Right? That is it. Exactly. Because, you know, as we in, in, you know, I am, my family is from South American Guyana, but I'm the first person in my family born in America. And so, you know, the culture that I grew up in, Western culture, um, which has pervaded most of the world now, you know, is very much focused on what you can get, you know, what you can, you know, receive, take, 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 you know, there's a lot of that. But that's out of balance. That's out of balance with who we truly are. That's out of balance with, you know, everything that it's cyclical, you have to be able to give and receive. You know, if you look at, you know, my grandparents were farmers, they reap and they sow, you can't take everything from the earth without putting back in. It's, it's just, it's out of balance. It's not natural. And the same when you're trying to manifest, to create in your life, whether you're trying to create peace and, and well-being, whether you're trying to create money and abundance, whether you're trying to create fun, joy, pleasure, sexiness, all of those things, you know, whether you're, yes, <laughs> whether you're trying to create, you know, love, it's all giving and receiving. If you're in a relationship with somebody, you're in a relationship with your partner, and and you are demanding of them all the time and, you know, asking of them and, you know, it's all one sided. That's an unhealthy relationship. And it's the same with everything. Awesome. So what is like the number one thing that people want to manifest um, from your experience? Like, what do they really want? What do people want? Okay, so I'll say what they say they want, and I'll say what they really want. <laughs> and in fact, actually, I have to take a I have to take a station break and give love to everyone here because, like I said, it's 
receiving, giving and receiving. So I want to yes. just, so for hello. me, I want to say hello to everybody who is here from your audience, from my audience. I'm looking yes. through. I see you all giving love to you. So the number one thing that people will say is that they will say, of course, they want to manifest abundance, you know, money, more money, which is important. You know, that some spiritual teachers will tell you, oh, money doesn't matter, you know. So unless you're going to go and live up on the top of, you know, a mountain, you know, and meditate there for the next, you know, 100 years, then yes, then it's not important. <laughs> But if you're living in our society where we're interacting and you want to clothe and feed your, feed your family and have a roof over your head and live well, then it is important. And so I, I think that it's, it's, a, it's detrimental and false mm -hmm. when people tell people that. So we say, people say, well, I want to manifest money. I want to create money. But what we're really saying underneath that is I want to, I want to be safe. I want to be safe. Type that in the comments. I am safe. Let's affirm that. Type it in the comments. Type it in the comments. I am safe and it is safe to be safe. I am safe and it is safe to be safe. And you can repeat it, goddess. I am safe and it is safe to be safe. I am safe and it is safe to be safe. Yes. And it is safe to be safe. And that's what we want. Yes, that's what we want. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to live abundantly. Abundance, however, includes not only money, it also includes abundant health and well-being. Thank you for the hearts. Abundance includes um, abundance of friendships and connections like you and I are doing right now. Um, abundance includes abundant love, you know, abundant love and, and feeling good when you wake up. As we see in this time that we're living in right now, a person could have all of the money in the world, mm -hmm. but they cannot purchase another minute of life if their body is failing them. So abundant health and wellness and well-being, you know, and abundant love, those are the real things. But still, you know, money matters, abundance matters, but we have to get to the root of what it is that you really want. So, so if you're when yes, we to be abundant, then it means we actually really want to be safe. Yes, yes, we want to be safe. We want to yes. be safe. We want to be safe. Um, is the, the word secure also the same? Like, we, feel, we want to feel secure, safe. Okay, all right. So I, I can, I love, 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 love your energy. So I'm curious, like, oh my gosh, so how does she take care of herself? And now that all of these things are happening, I mean, we really need, as light workers, we really need to, like, shine a lot brighter so that people get influenced with that light, not to shine for ourselves, but for others to see and, you know, to really get inspired with that. So I'm asking you, goddess, maybe you can share something that you do to help, you know, just increase that energy within you. So I want to share, you know, with our audiences that at this time more than ever, what is required is for you to be compassionate with yourself. <laughs> Most of us have never lived through a situation that is a global situation. We've all had local situations, right? I live in New York, so there was 9-11, and there was recently Hurricane um, Superstorm Sandy. But this is a global condition that is affecting everything, you know? And so this is something that is very new. So I have clients who are saying to me, you know, like, oh, my goodness, I don't know what to do. And I'm saying, you know, to them, First of all, be compassionate with yourself. No one knows what to do. Don't we see that our governments don't know what to do? And so how is it that you, you know, would suddenly have answers that, you know, that they don't? So it's okay to, first of all, have compassion for yourself. That's number one, okay? Number two... Without notes, actually. Like, I'm actually really writing. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> number two, we want to go within. So when there's chaos on the outside, when everything else feels like, okay, it's not working or I'm scared, you know, you want to go within and give yourself permission to feel your feelings. Type that in the comments. I have, I feel my feelings or I give myself permission to feel my feelings. I give permission 
I give myself permission to feel my feelings. Yes. Feel my so please type that down, guys. I give myself permission to give myself fe uh, to give feel me. my feelings. <laughs> I give. Or if you can't remember all the words, just say, "I feel my feelings." I feel, I my, feel my feelings. I feel my feelings. Yes. I feel my feelings. And yes. the reason why that's so important is that for a long time, you know, the spirituality movement moved toward, okay, you know, positive thinking, which has its value, but positive thinking without, you know, the stuff underneath it, you know, without positive feeling is yes. sh um, shoveling sugar over poop, yes. <laughs> which exactly. is not what we want to do. And so I don't believe in, you know, just chanting a bunch of affirmations without mm -hmm. giving yourself permission to feel what you're feeling. So if you are terrified right now, own that. It's terrifying. Yes. I'm exactly. overwhelmed. I'm scared. Whatever it is, give yourself permission to feel your feelings. Absolutely. So I have been doing check-ins uh, with people and that's the first thing that I tell them, like you need to own it if you're fearful, if you're worried, because when you own something, you have the power over it to decide what to do with it. Like, okay, if I own this cell phone, then I can either sell it or I can give it away or I can pawn it, I can keep it, I can throw it because I own it. And now now if we start owning our feelings if okay I'm very worried right now and when you own that now you can decide okay I'm letting that go or it is not serving me well now I'm going to replace it with another thing maybe a relaxed feeling so that's how I'm thinking about you know owning the feelings just really feeling feeling that so you have compassion being yeah. compassionate and then going within do you have a third one Yes. So the power of breath, the power of breath. So the way that you started us with breathing, that's the way that I begin everything because we want to go back to the sacred power of breath. Uh, so, you know, doing either a practice of yoga or a practice of meditation or a practice of breath work, very, very key, very important. Let me add to that, and this is a part of the compassion and a part of the going within and feeling your feelings and trusting yourself. You also don't want to be a terrorist to yourself. And what the way that I define that is that there are people, you know, well-meaning people everywhere right now telling you what you should be doing. There are quotes that are saying, you know, Sir Isaac Newton discovered physics in a pandemic. And this person, you know, I don't know, created airplanes during a pandemic, whatever it is. What are you doing? It's like, whoa, okay, I just figured out how to chat with my goddess sister in the Philippines on Instagram Live. That's, you know, the sum total of it today. <laughs> you don't want to terrorize yourself. But you mm -hmm. want to put practices in place that, you know, for your own well-being that help you to feel good, help you to, you know, to be able to have consistency when you may be losing track of days. A lot of people, it's new for them to be working from home, you know, and even for me, who I've always been working from home, I have had challenges in concentrating because I'm quarantining at my family's house. So I left my apartment. And so, you know, and so even though I'm working, I've been working from home, it's challenging. So, you know, don't be a terrorist with yourself with this. Come to the power of breath. You know, if you don't know how to meditate, you know, I have their videos that you can find on YouTube. Just go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash planet aviola. Or just if, if you're not into me, you know, just Google how to meditate and you will find something, someone who you're in alignment with. And, you know, mm -hmm. just start with breath, you know, or set your alarm on your phone for three minutes, three minutes, start with three minutes, close your yeah. eyes and just breathe. Just come back to center when your brain wanders and says, oh, did I get bread? Oh, wait, I don't eat bread. Do I eat bread? Your brain is going to, if your brain starts to wander, just bring it yeah. back to center. Just, just start with, just go with, just go to the power of breath. Breathe. Yes, just breathe. It's always the first thing that I tell everyone, you know, everyone saying, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'm feeling this and that. I'm like, take a breath. Just breathe. Just breathe. That's right. And then all of a sudden, they have their own answers, right? Yeah. Uh, we never tell them answers. They come yeah. up with it. It's 
has always been within them. Everybody knows what yes. they're supposed to do. They just need to get in touch with that breath, right? Yes, that's it exactly. Yeah. You had it all along. So like, um, like um, in The Wizard of Oz, you had it all along, my dear. You know, we have it. <laughs> We have it right now. We have it right now. And as scary and as challenging as things may be, as overwhelming as things may be, you know, if you are watching this, you have been called here to this conversation. We have, we have energetically called you here. And, you know, all will be well. Type that in the comments. All is well. Because this all moment is our eternity. You know, the past, the past is gone. The future may never come. But in this moment, you can declare it. All is well. All is well. Yes, all is well. I am well. All is well. Yes. All is well. There is power in those three words, right? All is well. All um, is well. I don't know if you've seen the movie uh, Three Idiots. No, and I haven't. <laughs> I always say this, like, all is well. Yeah, so all is well. It, it's funny and... Um, like you laugh and cry at the same time with that movie. So if you have a if you have a chance to watch that during the lockdown, then go for it. I think you'll really love it. All is well. All is well. I'll check it out. Yes. Um, so right now, I'm thinking, since you told us um, to go to our breath, would you mind um, just leading us into like a breathing session? Just yeah. to... Ah, would, are you okay with that? Absolutely. In fact, what I would love to share uh, yeah. with you and your beautiful audience is a, a breath work, but a tapping session, um, you, doing EFT emotional freedom technique for Absolutely. calm, for stillness. Yes. Thank you. Is you are your audience for or are they familiar with it <laughs> um some would be familiar some wouldn't so we can kind of tell them which points to tap okay all right so people who are unfamiliar so tapping or eft emotional freedom technique is the same as acupuncture where you know they put needles in you know different meridians the endpoints of the meridians in your body so acupuncture but this is acupressure where instead of using needles we're going to be tapping you tap you know uh, through a series of different points on your body we tap for calm for calm and the beautiful thing about tapping is that it be that Is that I know our connection seems to be a bit wonky. Are you able to hear me? It's shaky a little. Uh, yes, okay. I can hear you. You're just kind of pixelized. Wow. Oh, yeah. So you're maybe the internet just. Side. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's just. It's, it's okay. the internet. Now I can see. Connection. Okay. <laughs> Too much energy. <laughs> Too much energy. So it's okay. We're going to tap because all is well. So if people are looking and they're well. like, it's pixelated. Yeah, it's pixelated. Tap away. <laughs> all is well. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that we are, um, that we have right now that we, you know, this phone and this connection and us being able to speak during a quarantine time from Philippines to, the, to New York, this is modern miracles. So it's okay if it is a little bit glitchy, you know, it's all right. We're spoiled brats. We're like, oh my goodness, you know, <laughs> this would have been impossible even 10 years ago. So it's, it's okay, all is well. So right now, everyone just tap and repeat after me. If you're confused about the science, you can look that up later. You can Google, go, go to YouTube and type in uh, tapping and Abiola or go to my site, womanifesting.com, womanifesting.com and learn more there. For now, just play along, okay? So let's just take a deep breath as we're tapping. And this is called the Karate Chop Point. 
You can close your eyes if you're not driving or something like that. Take another deep breath. Inhale on the count of four. We're going to hold on four and we're going to exhale on four. Inhale. Hold. And exhale. Again. Inhale. Hold. And exhale. And just repeat after me. This overwhelm. This overwhelm. This overwhelm that I'm feeling. This overwhelm that I'm feeling. Top of the head. This overwhelm. This overwhelm. Eyebrow points right here. These two points here. This overwhelm that I'm feeling. This overwhelm that I'm feeling. Sides of the eyes. This is scary. This is scary. Under the eyes. I've never experienced this before. I've never experienced this before. Under your nose. I'm scared for my loved ones. I'm scared for my loved ones. Under your mouth. I'm scared for my neighbors. I'm scared for my neighbors. Collarbones. I'm scared for my friends. I'm scared for my friends. Under the arm, bra strap point for women. And I'm scared for myself. I'm scared for myself. Top of the head. This overwhelm. This overwhelm. <coughs> Excuse me. What's really happening right now? What's really happening right now? Size of the eyes. Everything has changed. Everything has changed under the eyes and I feel so unsafe and I feel so unsafe under the nose it's affected my life it's affected my life under the mouth and it's affected my income and it's affected my income collarbones it's affected my opportunities it's affected my opportunities under the arms and it's affected my relationships and it's affected my relationships top of the head this is overwhelming. This is overwhelming. Size of the uh, eyebrow points. I hope things change soon. I hope things change soon. Size of the eyes. I hope things get better soon. I hope things get better soon. Under the eyes. I hope we figure this out. I hope we figure this out. Under the nose. I've been scared before. I've been scared before. Under the mouth. And I've been overwhelmed before. And I've been overwhelmed before. Collarbones. And things have worked out for the better. And things have worked out for the better. Under the arm. Things have worked out for the better. Have worked out for the better. Top of the head. I have figured it out before. I have figured it out before. Eyebrow points. What if this is another thing to overcome? What if this is another thing to overcome? Size of the eyes. What if I'm being prepared for something better? What if I'm being prepared for something better? Under the eyes. What if life keeps getting better and better? What if life keeps getting better and better? Under the nose. I think life does keep getting better and better. I think life does keep getting better and better. Under the mouth. I think everything does keep getting better and better. I think everything does keep getting better and better. Collarbones. We will figure this out. We will figure this out. Under the arm. There have been pandemics before. There have been pandemics before. Top of the head. There have been scary times before. There have been scary times before. Eyebrows. Scary things have happened in the past. Scary things have happened in the past. Eyes of the eyes. But we keep rising. But we keep rising. Under the eyes. Humanity keeps rising. Humanity keeps rising. Under the nose. Mother nature always wins. Mother nature always wins. Under the mouth. And we were maybe never safe to begin with. And we were maybe never safe to begin with. Collarbones. Or maybe we're completely safe. Or maybe we're completely safe. Under the arms. Maybe everything is just as it should be. Maybe everything is just as it should be. Top of the head. What if I decided everything was fine? What if I decided everything was fine? 
eyebrow points. What if I decided that all was well? What if I decided that all is well? Sides of the eyes. What if I decided that I am healthy? What if I decided that I am healthy? Under the eyes. What if I decided that I was abundant? What if I decided that I was abundant? Wonder, under the nose. What if I decided that I was at peace? What if I decided if I was at peace? Under the mouth. I am the reflection of my creator. I am the reflection of my creator. Collarbones. I am the reflection of my creator. I am the reflection of my creator. Under the arm. I am the reflection of my creator. I am the reflection of my creator. Top of the head. And I was created with love. 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 Eyes of the eyes. And this is a beautiful planet. This is a beautiful planet. Under the eyes. This is a beautiful world. This is a beautiful world. Under the nose. And I am a part of it. And I am a part of it. Under the mouth. So all is well. So all is well. Collarbones. I will trust that all is well. I will that trust all is, that all is well. All is well. Under the arm. I will trust that all is well. I will trust that all is well. Top of the head. I am safe. I am safe. Eyebrow points. And it is safe to be safe. And it is safe to be safe. I am safe. I am safe. And it is safe to be safe. And it is safe to be safe. I am safe. I am safe. And it is safe to be safe. Safe to be safe. I needed a break anyway. I needed a break anyway. I needed a time out. I needed a time out. I needed a moment. I needed a moment. And Mother Nature has given me that moment. And Mother Nature has given me that moment. So I'm taking this time. So I'm taking this time. To create more peace. To create more peace. To create peace for myself. To create peace for myself. To create peace for our planet. To create peace for our planet. And I'm attracting health. I'm attracting health. And I'm attracting well-being. And I'm attracting well-being. Because I am healthy. Because I am healthy. And I am well. And I am well. I'm attracting love. I'm attracting love. And I'm attracting money. And I'm attracting money. Because I am love. Because I am love. And I am money. And I am money. This is going to be a good day. Going to be a good day. This is going to be a great day. This is going to be a great day. This is going to be the best day ever. Going to be the best day ever. Because I'm trusting my intuition. Because I'm trusting my intuition. Because I know who I am. Because I know who I am. And I know whose I am. And I know whose I am. Because I know who I am. Because I know who I am. And I know whose I am. And I know whose I am. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 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 My creator has great things in store for me. My creator has great things in store for me. I can't wait to see what happens today. I can't wait to see what happens today. This is a world full of miracles. This is a world full of miracles. I'm watching this on a magic box. <laughs> I, what's that on a magic box? I'm watching box. this on a magic box. Watching this on a magic box. So this is a world of miracles. So this is a world of miracles. And things keep getting better and better. And things just keep getting better and better. Things keep getting better and better. Things keep getting better and better. Instead of focusing on what I don't want. Instead of focusing on what I don't want. I'm focusing on what I do want. I'm focusing on what I do want.
I'm focusing on what I do want. I'm focusing on what I do want. I'm welcoming in love. I'm welcoming in love. I'm welcoming in abundance. I'm welcoming in abundance. I'm welcoming in health. I'm welcoming in health. I'm welcoming in safety. I'm welcoming in safety. I'm welcoming in well-being. I'm welcoming well-being. And I love it. And I love it. And I love it. And I love it. And for this, I am so grateful. And for this, I am so grateful. And for this, I am so grateful. For this, I am so grateful. And 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 for this, I am so grateful. For this, I am so grateful. And for this, I am so grateful. For this, I am so grateful. Okay, take a deep breath. And let it out. Another deep breath, and this time let it out with sound. Inhale. Okay. And exhale. Okay. There we have it. Every Thank day you. and every way, things are working out for us. Wow. So was that intuitive all the way through? All the way through, it was using the practices that I already have of, you know, the knowing what the meridians are, but then tapping into intuitively to the needs of the audience of the, the you know, the, the communications of what the audience, you know, the, the fears that people are broadcasting. So, yeah, so kind of reading the audience at the same time, tapping through, you know, all of what we're experiencing. That was such a treat, Abiola. Thank you so much for that. And I love it that we started with gratitude um, after our breath, and then you ended with gratitude as well. That yes. was fantastic, really. And I am so, such a believer of gratitude. Um, that's really all um, we have right now. I mean, there's so much things to be grateful for, even amidst all of these things that are happening. So please invite them to any, everything and anything that you're doing. Um, I'd love for everybody here in the Philippines to be able to experience you. And thanks so much for allowing me um, and everyone who's watching um, to feel that um, your magic Oh, thank you. This has been such a beautiful conversation. And you see the term, like I said, sacred medicine. This is sacred medicine. This right here, this exchange. I firmly believe in my heart and soul that women, you know, when we come together and we raise the consciousness that right now we just shifted something. We shifted something, you know, something changed. And so this is what this is what our work is. This is what sacred medicine is. So your audience can find me. I'm at youtube.com uh, slash planet Abiola, but they can also find me on wherever you listen to podcasts, type in yeah. Abiola and you will find me there. So if you listen on iTunes or, you know, wherever you listen to podcasts, you can find me there. My website is womanifesting.com. So like manifesting.com, but womanifesting.com. And if they are interested in being coaches, healers, um, you know, entrepreneurs who are wanting to write their own book, I have a free class right now that they can take if they go to the link richgoddess.club. That link is richgoddess.club and you can find it there. And if you can't find it, just DM me here on, um, Instagram. on Instagram. Yeah, and I will point you in the right direction. Yay, awesome. And if you have like a little message for everyone, what would it be? Like something to take home with them? Well, they're all yeah. home. <laughs> I mean, 
Yes. So my message more than anything is that we are powerful beyond measure. If you have been called here to this conversation, it is not by accident. Oftentimes we, you know, people, you know, pray or meditate or set intentions, however it is that you have your own relationship with the divine. And we say, you know, well, I, I'm asking, but I'm not receiving. The way that the divine answers us is in coincidences, in you have happening to click on this and you accidentally seeing your friend say let's go here let's go there that's where your answers are that's what the communication is so you're not here by accident and the best is yet to come the best of your life is yet to come i love it i love everything and the tapping like i'm i'm surely going to record everything and just play it over and over again practice with you um, through the recording. Thank you so much, Abiola. It was such a delight to be speaking with you. Um, I am very like grateful and honored and humbled that you said yes to this. Super. Oh, oh you're, you're absolutely welcome. Thank you for introducing me to your beautiful audience. And this is just the first of many conversations that we're going to be having. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. So please take care over there, wherever you are. You're in New York or with the, where are you? I'm in, I'm in New York City. And yes, thank you. You know, please continue to pray for New York. If you are a praying person, if not, just set an intention of peace and health and well-being. And I am also praying globally for all of us, sending love to you in the Philippines and, you know, everyone, wherever you are. We're all in this together. If you have not learned that by now, look, Mother Nature just said to us, listen, you cannot have health and well-being without your neighbor having health and well-being. We are all in this together. We're a global family. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much. And bye. I'll see you soon. I'll chat with you. Talk again. to you soon. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Bye.